Oh, what it do? What it do, homie? My boy, what's up with you? Man, not nah, shit, not nah, shit, bro. Man, first of all, I want to say appreciate you coming to the platform, bro. For real, for real. I no problem playing. What's going on? Man, not nah, shit. Uh, let me say this first, bro. I'm recording you, and then I'm going to drop it after the fact, so we're going to speak like we're speaking to the audience. But uh, for people who don't know you, you know, I know you don't know me, but shit, I just remember you, man. I'm going to tell you, it go back probably from... Like oh at seven oh eight. Do you remember uh Major Stack in the time? Yep. Okay. I remember. I used to rap with Major Stack in the time. So I remember you from shit. Used to always just be around, be on your shit. And then when I got locked up, I stood. I saw you steady elev elevate. So you just always been one of them niggas from Memphis, bro. Like you know what I'm saying from the streets who kill some going, kill some motion. So. It was just only right that I reach out to you and know what I'm saying, see could I get you on the platform, bro. For real, for real. Hey, listen, I ain't got no problem with Tony then, man. Shit, shit, bro. So, uh, first of all, what I normally ask Memphians or people where they from, bro, I mean, uh, it's from wherever they from, man. Give me the good, bad, and ugly about the city, bro. I mean, you know, it's good, it's bad, or it's ugly, depending upon what situations you put yourself in. Because, you know, a lot of niggas say, you know, Memphis dangerous and all that shit. Memphis ain't dangerous to me. And I'm a hood nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I come from that shit, sleeping in bandos and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? On gang shit. But once I separated myself from that type of environment, from that type of mindset, I was no longer in them type of circles where it's, you know what I'm saying, it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Orange Mound, dude. You know what I'm saying? I went to Melrose. I grew up in the Mound. You know what I'm saying? 38114 Park and Select all day long. You know what I'm saying? Right off Pendleton. So, you know, for me to say that it really ain't no bad spots, that shit speaks volumes, man. Because, you know what I'm saying? I done been shot a bunch of times. I done did a bunch of fucked up shit. And now that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't moving like how I used to move. I ain't shit ending up in them situations I used to end up in. So it's man. all according to how you move. It could be a paradise or it could be a prison. Man, I respect that. I ask people that because I be wanting to just hear the transparent, the different. I ain't never heard that one yet. You know what I'm saying? Just on some real shit. I ain't heard nobody break it down like that, though. You know what I'm saying? So, for so, so, uh. Orange Mound, bro. You know, one of the most historic black neighborhoods in the United States, right? Yeah, we was on. We was one of the neighborhoods that was black people was allowed to have. You know what I'm saying? Their own business. You know what I'm saying? That's what made our you know what I'm saying? our neighborhood so popular. Because in a lot of areas, you know what I'm saying, our demographic wasn't allowed to own land or you know what I'm saying, generate revenue under our own premise. You know what I'm talking about? We always had to be subordinate to some other shit. So that was like a real safe haven for a lot of the entrepreneurs. And, and it created a whole lane of creativity for other people, you know what I'm saying, to follow that came from a black source, came from a community-based type of energy. You know what right. I'm saying? So would you say this what lead to Because, you know, bro, Y'all that's from the mound, bro. Y'all got like a different sense of pride. You know what I'm saying? Like a different sense of community together. Is that what is that what it is about the mound though? They, they, what is it about the mound that y'all have such pride? Well, you personally. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's it's a community. It's a, it's a neighborhood. See, it's a difference in having just a bunch of rental property properties that people renting in, they isolated, people just staying to themselves and shit like that. They not really socializing with each other. But when you come from a community, you talking about generations of families that's been in this same area, you know what I'm saying? You got traditions like Melrose against Hamilton, that's our rivalry, you know what I'm saying? And just everything like Orange Mound, uh, block parties and all that kind of stuff. We got our own little culture because, you know what I'm saying, we take pride in our neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? People from Orange Mound, you know, they stamp that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, you know, yeah man. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying, Orange Mound, you know what I'm saying, I give everybody, you know what I'm saying, everybody got their, you know what I'm saying, situations of, Everybody, every neighborhood got his own individuality, but 
you know what I'm saying? Orange Mound, you know, that's them trenches. But at the same time, it's it's a lot of love in the mound. You know what I'm saying? Now, because, you know what I'm saying, generations didn't change. And, you know, young cats, they got a different mindset now. You know, they they veering off doing their own thing, crashing out how they crash out. But you still got other situations going on, like the football team and our generation that's still trying to cultivate that right. sense unity and neighborhood like we used to play football for me rose and you got a lot of guys like amos and you know what i'm saying a lot of more guys like right. like them red of- cooper days and shit like that man red. Red. <laughs> but, but yeah red. go ahead my bad go ahead g like no, you good i ain't doing shit yeah but that's when that's when i i remember like uh like i went to white station for a little moment bro so that's when I got kind of got accustomed to <coughs> niggas who went to who from the mound. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it was a lot of people from the mound that went to White Station. So I started interacting with them and shit. Like, oh, okay, these this how the people from the mound act. And I actually had, you probably don't know this guy, this guy named Buddy. This dude named Buddy from the mound. Young, he about my age in his 30s, though, but me and him had some little incidents at White Station, though, man. But uh did, would you have previous to seeing A Ball and MJG coming up in the mail? All right, that's my niggas. We know each other. <laughs> really? If you come to mail and you not connected, it's because you didn't jump off the for- the porch and you wasn't tuned in. If you was tuned in, you say you from the mail, everybody from the block should know who you is. You outside having some type of motion or anything, because we all connected. We all bumping into each other all day long. One mound ain't that big. Right. You know what I'm saying? So from over here, everybody bumping into each other all day long. You know what I'm saying? It don't take much for you to be verified. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Because we know who outside and we know who ain't outside. If we don't know you, you wasn't outside. You know what, right. what I'm saying? You probably right. don't care. Shit. You ain't really from over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask you this, though, bro. I, I don't know, is it just the mail or is it just Memphis now, bro? Why y'all don't want to claim South Memphis, though, bro? <laughs> Man, you know, Why y'all? 100 with you. I'm going to be 100. Yeah, go it, ahead. It's just like <laughs> individuality. You know what I'm saying? Like, we proud of our neighborhood. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't in our neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Now, don't get it wrong, Orange Mound, we ain't got no problems with nobody. You know what right. I'm saying? It ain't like, oh, no, Nick, we go and start a problem now. We finish up a whole lot of shit because we stand on all business. You know hey. what I'm saying? We some hustlers, but we ain't going to play with your ass now one time. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, we come from that pressure. But when you talk about like like South Memphis, they got their own people holding it down. You got, you know what I'm saying, play a fly, you got gangster black, you got, you know what I'm saying, what's what's uh the guys over there, CMG, uh black youngster, you got their own, you know what I'm saying, get big motor. You got you got a bunch of guys that's they, you know what I'm saying, land and they hold that shit down and, right. and they they kings amongst they society. You know? Look at that shit on the map, man. It's like it's it's right there, man. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the man on the. Got, got, we got to keep it understood. It's not the. <laughs> it's not the map. I feel you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like that's just like we got other boroughs that's around fucking um Harlem. But you're not gonna be able to claim Harlem because Harlem is a monument, just like Orange Mount. It's a monument. You know what I'm saying? We put in work over Y'all here. Too in cocky this though, bro. Y'all too cocky, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just, you know, she a check scoreboard. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, we, we put out some good artists. You know what I'm saying? We had plenty of shit going on up man. in this motherfucker. Okay. Speaking back to the artists, man, uh, biology. You said you, you know what I'm saying, you them your guys. What yeah. was it like in the mound watching them do their thing, especially like when they was at they they height? I ain't gonna lie, you know, uh the thing about us mound niggas, we don't hate on each other. You know what I'm saying? We you know what I'm saying? If if 
All we gotta know is you throwing them O's up and we there. That's like that's like a, a mound. That's like a mound, you know what I'm saying? How we all get together when we see that. You know what I'm saying? Like if you go to the clubs or some shit, like back in the day when I was in that motherfucker and that shit was, you know what I'm saying, on some whole other shit. Yeah, you, know you just mentioned printage now. You, you know? <laughs> oh, stop playing. Now. Yeah. <laughs> You talking about my little young niggas? They was some bulldogs. They going to the club, beat niggas up, single file line. The glue was gone. Yeah, <laughs> that was our football players. But we, when you seen them slide through, you are um, on mound in this motherfucker. It's ready to go down. You know, I, I don't care if we way in Westwood or uh, uh, way in the north somewhere. You see them young niggas walk through with them tank tops on, and everybody else got on full outfits. You see them niggas coming through with them tight tops on with some dogs out. Oh, yeah, you already know this shit. That, them young niggas been to go on. Something to happen, man. They came, they came to demonstrate, man. Right? Real shit. But if we in the club and like some shit going on, man, if niggas start throwing up them old, oh, man, you gonna see niggas that ain't even in the same game clicking up just because they got them O's up. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like that now. Yeah. <laughs> right. This ain't like that now. Hell no. Nah. Nigga want to yeah. make sure you throwing up the right old fucky man. You hear me? See, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know, them young cats, they got their own conflicts and shit that's going on with their own little areas and shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, all them young niggas, you know what I'm saying? They respect the niggas who respect them. You know what I'm saying? And I respect them young niggas, you know what I'm saying? I don't be trying to push on them, no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I respect them for what they got going on, even though they not may not be tuning in or, you know what I'm saying, or standing on the type of principles we used to stand on. You still got to get to them. It's their time now. Thanks. I had my time, you know what I'm saying? I shit them, but ushered out, you know what I'm saying? You got some, they got their time now, so you got to, you know what I'm saying, let them have it and run it how they run it, because couldn't nobody tell me how to run mine when it was my time. Respect. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Respect. For real, for real. So, okay, we we got Bob, we got G. What age would you say, bro, coming up in the mail, would you say you just really kind of dived into the streets? Well, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? When she it was immediately, you know, she as soon as long as you, soon as you turn old enough to come outside, it's up. You ain't got no choice. You know what I'm saying? You that's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? I came down here, I was living in Cleveland, Ohio for a long time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. I came down here when I was like 16, but when I left Cleveland, Ohio, it's because I was coming of age and, you know, my mama couldn't really tell me shit. I had started gangbanging and shit. I was going to juvenile detention center and shit. So I had that. My mama was from Memphis. She was from Orange Mound, you know what I'm saying? Right there on that street. I, you know what I'm saying, moved back to. So by me trying to get away from the streets up there, because I was, you know what I'm saying, I'm popping out. I'm 14, 15 years old. Like, when... Like Cleveland, way faster. It's the big city. It's like now, in Chicago type of atmosphere, right? Where y'all moving yeah, faster. Okay. Exactly, like it's like Chicago or St. Louis. It's like it. it's fast and it's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's real. So you know what I'm saying? Like when I was nine, and you know my folks was broke. We ain't really had no lot of money. My my dad had a square little job, and you know what I'm saying. My mama, you know what I'm saying, was doing her. You know what I'm saying? Little thing with her little jobs and shit, but we ain't really had no money for no extras or no shit like that. So I grew up, you know what I'm saying? When I was nine years old, I was going, to, I was walking like three miles to a grocery store and I stand outside asking people, can I carry your, your groceries, put them inside your trunk, you know what I'm saying? Put, take them to your car. I do that from like seven to twelve, make me probably like seventy dollars a whole pocket full of change and ones. Then from twelve, I'm gone cutting grass. I get the little lawnmower and I'm going door to door doing that. Mm. If it's snowing bad, I was shoveling snow, going door to door. Let me get your driveway. But you know what I'm saying? You I always had to take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't my mama and 
she, my mom and dad, they lost me at, at really at eight. I was Thanks. gone. I was gone. It was, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it was over with. Nick said eight. What's it? Yeah. It was the tail. He said eight. Yeah. Uh, see, I went from goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, carrying groceries and cutting grass and all that old kind of shit to a nigga turned me out on selling crack. You know what I'm saying? So I went from, you know what I'm saying, making $70 in four, five hours to making $70 in 10 minutes. Damn. I see. So that, that was like a whole nother, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of changed my mindset. And see, the streets had me now. My dad ain't had me now. Right. My mama had me now. You know what I'm saying? The streets had me now. You know what I'm saying? I had to go through a bunch of shit. I had saw a bunch of people get killed and, you know what I'm saying, dealing with crackheads and all that shit because I was in the projects. See, I was in the projects up north. You know what I'm saying? It's it's way different from the projects down here. That's I ain't what I want to ask you next. Like, what's the difference between, you know what I'm saying, Ohio and Memphis? Oh, it's definitely a whole lot of shaking and baking going on. I'm talking about it's the same shit, a different toilet, but just faster. It's way faster. It's way, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, it's way more cutthroat because it's it's bigger and it's it's got a whole bunch of other demographics mixed into this culture. It, it's like, it's fast, it's push. You know, okay. Memphis and, and like the South, y'all get like the shit later on down the line, the memo or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Shit we've been doing already, it'll trickle down to Mississippi, Arkansas, Memphis and all okay. that old shit couple of years later, so they'll just be getting on the shit we was already on. So when I bought it, because I was selling crack, and oh man, I had bought a car, I'm starting to, have to take care of myself and shit, but I was going to jail and I was being real reckless. So, you know what I'm saying, I came down here when I was like 12, just turning 13. And shit, I was, I was banging up there. So when I got down here, back down to Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas embraced me with open arms because I was with that shit. I was really mad. Like like, yeah, I come from up that way. So they moving slow. So a nigga like me, I'm my shit. We finna take this little shit over. All y'all follow me. <laughs> you really, know you really was like a leader already. Yeah. Yeah, cause you know I don't want to, I don't want to put too much. You know what I'm saying about, you know what I'm saying, gang and shit. Cause you know what I'm saying, I don't want the wrong people to process this with the wrong type of influence. Cause the internet is retarded. You know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to glamify, glorify, glorify that shit. But I will say this, man. I don't. I wish everybody would make their own decisions for themselves when it comes to this gang shit. Because just being a hundred, me being a nigga that, you know what I'm saying, was in that shit for a lifetime, basically all I saw is a bunch of niggas that can get you in jail but can't get you out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to promote that the wrong way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, just, I did that shit. I came back here, got up with the guys. You know what I'm saying? It, I was doing so much. It was so much love coming from them because it was all off the action. I was active, and they had never seen that type of activity like that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I didn't even start out like a shorty. I started out, you know what I'm saying, an authority figure. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. I just kept bumping up, bumping up because, you know what I'm saying, that's what I naturally knew how to do. But it was just because I came from something faster, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Hey, let me ask you this. When I was in the penitentiary, bro, I ran into this little nigga named Bird. And he just put me on, he from Chicago, and he put me on a different type of hustle where I thought it was funny. But he was like, mm -hmm. bro, that's how we do it. Like, they'll take a pack of cigarettes or a carton of cigarettes and mm -hmm. break them down. And you know, like make you know, what I'm saying double the double the double the triple the box. Is that is that an up north thing? Man, hell no, nah, that's jail. That's what you call a roll up. You take one cigarette, one cigarette. We call them Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we chop them whole down five ways. Once we chop it down five ways, those five sections, each one of them, we make a roll up out and sell that motherfucker. I got you. So, 
That's how you turn one pack of cigarettes into five pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I guess. It's five cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, when you get a pack of cigarettes, that's like a, a shit, a whole bird of dope, nigga. Facts, facts, facts. I got you. Okay, so you in the city, you jumped out the porch, you moving with the guys, uh, you done did something, you done put it down. Um, basically, bro, I, I heard you say the city embraced you, but how did you feel about the city? Man, I'm going to be real with you. I always been a driven nigga. I always been a dude that's, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm focused on progression. I'm always trying to, you know what I'm saying, grow, grow, grow. And just being a hundred with you, niggas with that type of mindset don't have rear view mirrors. We don't, we don't, we don't process what people thinking or no shit like that. Cause we got tunnel vision on what particular goal we working on at that time. So that's just like, I could be out and in my mindset, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Out kicking shit, finna go to Whole Foods or some shit. But if you was with me, you will see a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? Shaking my hand, what's up, dogs? All that all little kind of hey. shit. You'll be like, damn, nigga, you a celebrity or something, man? But you know what I'm saying? That ain't my mindset. You right. know what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't really, you know what I'm saying? Tune in to a lot of shit. I'm a social nigga, but I'm really an introvert. I like, I need, you know what I'm saying? time alone to like create and shit. So I don't run in no groups or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really by myself oblivious to whatever a person seeing me online is, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. So, so back, okay, it, take it back. Like, I just remember you saying, this is when I, I remember you. Like you said, mm -hmm. see you out, shaking hands and I just, that's what I used to be like. Damn, who was that nigga right there? Though? Like everybody going up to him, they shaking his hand. I never knew who he was. So I remember uh, Big Dave saying that dog side. You know what I'm saying? Then I used to see you with Lionheart sometimes at the club. You know what I'm saying? Just the promoting and shit like that. Used to always yeah. be at the club. So I remember I got locked up. Like I said, when I locked up, I know you don't remember this shit though. But I used to inbox you, bro, and. That's when you were locked up, where you was at? You was at 201? No, nah, I was at West High. 